Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm just going to show you guys an update of what I'm working on with my sound quality car audio project. Um, well, I got a few more pieces in here. I decided to cover the inside of the door skins with uh, this foam to reduce any vibration and absorb some reflecting waves in, in, the, uh, in the doors. Uh, I've now dampened all the um, all the doors with the Stinger Roadkill. It's like Dynamat, but a little heavier. This stuff here. I got a few square feet more because I didn't think I quite had enough. I had 36 square feet, and this is another four. So I'll have 40 square feet in the car as of right now. I'm kind of get kind of getting addicted to putting that stuff on. I gotta say, I'm just about ready to order a whole nother bulk pack and start another another 36 square feet. But I'm trying to limit the weight on my car uh, added to about 150 to 200 pounds. I'm shooting from closer to 150. Uh, I don't want the car to slow down too much. So as it sits right now, I'm probably going to be about 165, so I don't want to add too much more. Uh, another bulk pack would take me to about 200 though. Um, but I'm going to put the foam on the inner doors, uh, in, inside the door skin, and a bit around the front uh, component woofers. Um, really want to dampen that area. I really want to get it right the first time. I'm not someone to do it just a little ways and then try to go back later and fix it. Um, kind of doing it all the way. Pick my RCAs here. Uh, again, this is a somewhat budget project. I'm trying to do this without the uber budget of uh, some of the systems you see. So um, These are the RCAs I chose. 17 foot uh, DB link. I know it's not a amazing brand or anything but uh, um, it's certainly not the most expensive brand, but these are their second best ones they make. Uh, so they're shielded really well, double shielded, 17 foot runs. I think they'll work just fine for, for this application. It's a pair for front, a pair for rear, and a pair for subwoofer. I chose my head unit. As you can see here, the CDA 117 by Alpine. Um, you know, there's much more expensive head units available. Uh, I don't need DVD or navigation or anything like that. I just want the highest sound quality possible for the money. Uh, this one retails for about 350. I found it on eBay for quite a bit less. Um, but this is the one that's going to go into my project. Uh, it seemed I've always liked Alpine. Had an Alpine in my first car in '94, I want to say 1994. It was really expensive back then. It's actually cheaper now and much higher sound quality and many more features. Um, got my Skosh install kit for the dash. Here's my wiring. Kicker. Uh, I went with Kicker 4 gauge kit. It can handle up to 1500 watts RMS. Um, I didn't go zero gauge. I resisted the urge. I wanted to, but that was going to add another hundred bucks and change to the project so uh, this kit um, comes with an ANL fuse the better plates way first style fuse um, the reason I got kicker you say oh well you could have you could have saved some money by going by another brand I got kicker because um, because it's actually true spec wire it's full full four gauge wire it's very flexible and I know it's OFC copper uh, and aluminum or copper clad aluminum kit would not carry 1500 watts RMS there's no way thing would turn into a heater coil um, I'm gonna be running multiple amps so this has the distribution blocks in it multiple ends four outs um, eventually the car is probably gonna have three amps in it I'm starting with two amps and the head unit um, It'll have three amps uh, eventually, and I'm going to stay around 1,500 just or just under RMS watts, and this kit should be just fine for that. Okay, and here's here's my door panel, the inside. Uh, show you what I'm doing here, um, just because I'm a little OCD, and uh, I wanted to make sure when I put this door panel back on. Um, I'm still waiting for my speaker, so that's why my door panel isn't on. But uh, the I want to make sure it's as free from resonance as possible. Uh, I don't want to have to pull it off 
and do it again. So from the factory, all over the car, it's actually got some damping material. You can see the uh, the polyfill. They've got like glued down uh, up there. Um, but what I've done is uh, add some pieces of Stinger Roadkill wherever I can find a smooth surface really. Uh, there were some ribs made in from the factory so I had to cut these little pieces to the to the size of the the hole there. Um, see I got more up top some in the back and I did the the left or this is the left door I did the right door skin as well just just as much there I got a little little up there, a little over here. just want to make sure the doors are nice and dead. So this combined with the Dynamat or the Roadkill uh, damping material I've already got in the door should be should be really nice. Um, then I'm going to cover this whole thing with foam. Oh, you'll notice actually this, this is the uh, mat pocket in the door. Um, that is actually a separate piece and it's it's like factory bolted on and sealed so you can't really take it off but that's a point where there could be some vibration I've actually ran a bead of silicone along the pocket uh, to make sure that's not going to be heard um, then the whole thing's going to be covered in foam uh, I may get some get some uh, gasket material put it along the edges anything to just seal up the door and make it as dead as it possibly can um, is going to be great, so it'll sound uh, sound even better. All right, well, my my components are ordered. They're taking a little while to get here. Oh, another thing I noticed while while I've got this off, I've actually noticed some things from the factory that are kind of flaws. I'm going to fix while I'm while I'm in here. There's these staples stapling this trim on. They're rusting like crazy, and they're actually starting to corrode the metal on the door on the uh, you know what these sit on um, so I can't have that I mean it's cars two years old uh, I'm pulling these staples out I'm actually going to stitch this on I believe through the holes with a 50 pound test spider wire fishing line that way I never have to pull them off don't have to worry about my doors rusting everybody's happy and uh, just a little extra touch alright well thanks for stopping by I will be back with you when I get some more updates. I'm going to do a little more uh, Stinger Roadkill tonight on the rear doors and uh, I'll be installing the head unit pretty soon as well. Alright, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later and stay tuned.